How did the Special Olympics turn Jamal Charles into one of the most electric running backs in NFL history? For the first half of the 2010s, you could argue there wasn't a single more dynamic player in the entire NFL than Jamal Charles. In fact, the two-time first-team All-Pro's career average of 5.4 yards per carry is still the highest of any player with over 1,000 touches. But unlike many star athletes, Charles actually did not dominate sports for much of his childhood. Growing up in Texas, he had significant issues in the classroom, particularly with reading. By third grade, he'd be diagnosed with a learning disability and have to move to a special education class. The learning deficiencies and ridicule from classmates would severely damage Charles's confidence. That was until he was presented with a very unique opportunity. In 1996 at 10 years old, Charles would compete in the Special Olympics and he claims it was here where he recognized just how gifted of an athlete he really was. And he would end up taking home a gold medal. But more importantly, Jamal had a newfound confidence that could take him anywhere. One that motivated him to join a local track team. If I probably would never ran track, I'd probably be at home still right now doing that and looking for a job. He'd go on to become a two-time state champion in track and four-time All-American at the University of Texas. And of course, he'd also go on to become one of the best running backs in NFL history. In 2015, Charles would be recognized as a global ambassador for the Special Olympics and has dedicated countless time to advocating for both the importance and the power of the games.